Can you just meet me somewhere right now, please? Well, you know, ever since they invaded your life, you've been a completely different person. It's invaded like my life? Nothing matters to you anymore. Nothing so, important. I don't even matter to you anymore. How does that manifest itself, Sue? You're breaking up with me. That's how it manifests itself. Clearly they've invaded your life. Clearly. Obviously. Come on. You're a coward. You're breaking up with me. Just say it. Hey, I'm an actor. Are you an actor? Yeah? Great. And you? Are you an actor? Oh, great. We can all be actors together. And we can all get famous together. Can we come stay with you? We don't have a job. We don't have any money. Sure, come stay with me. I have a job. Let's live a pipe dream together. How about my dad? Could he stay here too? He just turned gay and got kicked out of his house. Yeah, sure, everyone can stay. Why can't we just talk in person? I mean, you're going on and on. I hate you. I hate you. My new Mary makes me happy, but I'm afraid I'm gonna lose my This would be a problem, Tom. No, it's not a problem yet. Just tell me why he wants to buy me a new suit. Because you've been wearing the same suit since you started here? Well, I get a clean stamp. I mean, I can understand if I didn't own a suit and you guys wanted to buy me one. I mean, that would make sense. I can understand that. But, uh, yeah, I have one, actually. I have one on. You're making a bigger deal of this than you need to. It is a big deal. You guys are dressing me now? Charlie loves your Jurgens proposal. He thinks it's time. We're meeting with them this Friday. It's down to us and two other companies. That's why. Just say that in the beginning of the conversation, what Stan. Do you care. The company's picking up the bill. I don't care who pays. That's not the point. Your look should reflect the work that you're doing. The work that you're doing is phenomenal. Let's get you looking phenomenal. <laughs> All right. Tell Charlie this is my lucky suit, okay? And tell him uh, this is the reason why I'm doing such phenomenal work. Okay? And tell him I'm uh, really superstitious about it. Can't take it off. And hey, you know what? I'm not going to take it off. How do you like that? I'm going to keep wearing this suit, my lucky suit, until you guys think this suit is phenomenal. Hmm? Phenomenal. Not going to get a new suit. No suit. Ramen noodles? I'm making some. Anyone? Don't make that. You're not really eating that. Yes, I am. I like it. No, you don't. And I don't want you eating that in this house, okay? I'll make you something. What are you talking about? It's such a sign of depression, man. It, it's such a sign of absolute poverty. It's noodles, dude. How much were they? I'm not saying they weren't cheap. I'm just saying that eating them... How much were they? Fifteen for a dollar. They were ten for a dollar. Oh, ten for a dollar. I stand corrected. I'm adding vegetables, Doc. Seriously? Yeah. The ones from the frozen bag? Yeah. Oh, that bag was like a dollar fifty, wasn't it? One ninety. Oh, absolutely, I'll have some of that. Dude, why are you watching my tape? It was in the VCR. Was this private? I'll, I'll turn it off. I just got sucked into this. Why are they? Why are they taping this? Because I missed it last week, and my sister was nice enough to videotape it for me. Well, what is it exactly? Uh, it's a creative support group for people who draw. I'd really be really pissed if someone else was watching. Essence of the, you know, what Wait, is really this Tom's drawing? For? Because the focus no. really sounds Where are you? Well, are you the I only mean, guy in this group? Uh, yeah. Well, now that you're single, I mean, there's something really engaging about this group, man. I have absolutely no idea what this girl's talking about, and I am loving every minute of it. All right, you know what? I'm turning it off, right? This is a private thing, and you... Get me in this group. No way in hell. Yeah. What about me? Yeah. Okay, what was that? What's that? Okay, uh, he's been depressed all day, and he's been talking about barricading himself in up there or something. Uh, Dad, you can't enclose Mr. Bumble stockings up there, okay? I, he's got to get to his box. I've got his litter box in here. Okay, well... But you can't hog Mr. Bumblestockings. 
Yeah, yeah Basil, uh, I second that. Hey, you gotta make Obi Jeff looking tonight. Get his mind off things, huh? Yeah. This guy, too. Yeah, Basil, put down the wood and I'll make Obi joyful tonight. Tommy, uh, I don't think you've heard the messages yet, but your girlfriend hates us, dude. <laughs> She's not my girlfriend anymore, man. Yeah, but your mother hates us, dude. Your mother is a great gal. Go to bed, Tommy. Okay. Big blankie. Tucky do. Okay. <sighs> what time is it? It's sleepy time. It's about one. One o'clock. It's a flight out. Yes, it is. You have to go to work today, don't you? Uh, yeah. Time to get up. Okay. Time for work. Oh. Now it's worky time. Okay. Mm -hmm. You able to do this, bud? How you feeling? Oh. Hey, Tommy, we're going to do what we talked about last night, and we're doing it today. Yeah, I have no idea what the hell you're talking about. Maxine Carter? What does it ring a bell? Have fun, though. I mean, Ronnie! Uh, we gotta help Mom get the stuff in the car. Dad, you're dreaming. Go to bed. No, the... Uh, the stuff. Just go up to bed. Bumblebees is up there waiting it's, for it's you. It's all right, Basil. You're, you're dreaming. See you guys later. See you. Later, Tommy. We can't leave him. I found him. <laughs> 